Hey everyone, I'm Lily, and welcome to my, I did this video once before with the last survey, but um, my data analysis, kind of going over the responses and uh, feedback that I got from the end of 2018 survey, so uh, yeah, we're just going to be uh, jumping into that, and as always, if you actually haven't taken the survey yet, uh, feel free to. I'll be sure to link it in the description, because I'll keep looking at this data until the next survey comes, and it is just really useful data and really just helps me grow the channel and make the best content I can for you guys. So thank you so much to everyone who replied. It means a lot to me, and yeah. So if you don't know, um, beginning of end, of end of December, I put out a uh, video of a survey, um, just kind of generally asking for information about the channel and things about what I'm doing and things like that. And uh, I got 92 responses, which is awesome. Thank you so much, everyone who did. So um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Uh, I do have to switch through um, a couple different Thanks. Here we are. Um, okay. So uh, the first, the first two questions I've, I always have in pretty much every survey I've done, which is kind of just general, like generally, what are you looking for in the channel? Because this helps me like figure out like what kind of content I make and things like that. Like, like always, I'll make the content that I want to make, but um, this just helps me nudge me in the right direction. Um, coming at first was, as often expected, D&D. &D. Uh, this has been true for all of them, and, um, well, actually, I'm going to look at both of these, like, simultaneously. Um, D&D &D and Magic, the second question was, which videos are you most interested in? This one, you, had to ch you could choose as many as that categories as you want. This one, you only chose one. Um, and D&D &D and Magic tied this time. Um, in past videos, uh, it was always... D&D got the most on the first question, but Magic got the most on the second question, which kind of makes sense. It's it's much more easy. It's, it's a lot more common to be casually interested in D&D than you are to be just casually interested in Magic, which makes sense. But these two are equal, which I don't mind. I understand that those are my two largest demographics. That's kind of what I expected. Um, uh, and the next highest one we got was art, writing, game design, and other creative pursuits, which is awesome, because I want to do more of that content, because I really like it. And then in third, magic, as you would expect. Um, and then everything else was pretty much there. Um, lowest actually was like the more traditional trigger videos, which I get, because like most of my audience doesn't come for more traditional trigger videos, even though I do kind of want to do some more of them, but it's just not going to be... I mean, I'm not changing how I, the, the, the main format of the channel and whatnot, but um, even though I am this year planning on doing some more experimentality, but um, overall these data points have not changed that much. Um, our third most is actually just the more traditional role plays, which is actually kind of funny, which I get that some people are just here for the ASMR, and you know what? Awesome. More power to you. Good to have you. And story readings and guided meditations. I do want to do more guided meditations. It's been a while since I did one, but I really need to do them. As for story readings, I'm almost um, done with The Hobbit, and uh, going forward, I'll probably be mostly doing more short stories, or and like stories I can generally finish in one to two videos, just because I mean I've loved doing The Hobbit, but um, it's not a long book and it's taken me a long time to get through it. Um, that said, I am considering doing story readings potentially on upcoming ASMR streams, where I might do like a, I'm hoping on being able to do like a weekly, like nighttime ASMR stream, and part of that schedule might be like a chapter from whatever book we're reading. So yeah. And I will probably record those streams, and I'll see if I can like upload them later and stuff like that, so. Okay, so next up we have, do you primarily listen to my videos for ASMR, for content, or both equally? And 
the majority of people said both equally, which I get, and uh, but then after that, in, in a pretty similar spread uh, for between ASMR and content, um, all the leans are the ASMR side, which makes sense, like this is an ASMR channel, but um, yeah, no, that's just interesting to hear what people are like looking for, and I mean, yeah, like the ASMR isn't going away, the content side of like explanations and like tech techs and things like that aren't going away, but yeah. Okay, this is probably where the bulk of the video will be taking place, is just these more open-ended questions, and that is, any suggestions for videos? What videos would you like to see more of? Okay, roleplay. I want to leave decks with you. I want to sort your cards. I want to wind after a crazy GP today. Too bad there's no more GPs. We can't wind down after any more GPs. But, um, yeah, no, I definitely want to do more roleplays. Like, I've just been really bad about doing roleplays, so, yeah, eventually I will get up and do that. Also, sorry for my voice. I'm a bit more uh, soft-spoken than normal. I'm also a bit of hoarse. I just, I've been feeling a bit unwell. Um, generic RPG world live stream. I don't know what you mean. Like, if you mean like a game set in JRPG, maybe I might look into doing like some one shots like streamed. Um, unless you just want like a live stream of like me like talking about the world or doing world building, which I can also see doing potentially. More paper magic card handling. Cool. I love those sounds, and I want to incorporate them more, potentially also in role plays and things like that, so yeah. You reading or chatting about your life? Yeah, that's one thing that's, honestly, it's just I have so many videos I want to do, and um, just not enough video slots to do them, but like doing like, month, I want to do, try to aim for like a monthly update video or something like that, just let you know what's going on in my life. Um. Speaking of things going on in my life, like last video I talked about like doing more sewing projects and I was like, I was like, ooh, I bought this dress pattern that I want to try making. And then uh, today I was like, you know what, I'm making that dress. And then I did. And it turned out really nice. And I like it. And it's cute. Oh, I'd love to see some whispered pack openings. Whispering and crinkling are two of my favorite triggers. More whispered MTG videos in general would be great. The reason I like the rules video so much is because they are whispered. Um, yeah, I mean, whispering isn't my primary trigger for, like, me personally, but, um, I definitely do want to do, like, more whispering. Uh, pack openings, though, is kind of an awkward situation, because, um, even when just soft-spoken, um, the audio levels are actually really wild, and it's, like, a lot of audio editing. Like, because I just did the box opening, and that was not a fun thing to audio edit. I mean, it was enjoyable, but, um, it's just when you have the, then have the levels of whispering and stuff, and that just makes it a little bit harder, but, um, I could see potentially maybe looking into doing some, like, smaller back opening videos. Um, it just nowadays I haven't been playing that much Paper Magic, so I haven't had that many, like, physical packs to crack. Um, cartography. I still have the more in-depth, like, explanation of that video, and, uh, of the Middle Earth map that I haven't made yet, and, uh, that'll come soon, TM. Uh, RuneScape. Yeah, I wanna do- I still play RuneScape, but, um, I don't know. I have to figure out what kind of content I wanna do. I keep saying that this lore series is coming, but who knows. <laughs> I'm enjoying the D&D &D world building content and the comprehensive rules. Those aren't going away. I love those things. This person just says tags. I don't know what you mean. Do you mean like, like the ASMR tag videos? Or do you mean, do you want me to tag my videos better? Or I don't know. More character role plays if possible. They don't all have to be cosplay, but I love the few that are here and wish there were more. I definitely want to do more, um, character roleplays. Definitely. More of your top 10 cards for Commander Cube. <laughs> Thank you for saying you want more of these, because, and the next question is like, what would you like to see less of? And multiple named those, that series, which is fine and understandable. It's not for everyone. But 
it's a series that I'm gonna keep doing because I love the series and I love Commander Cube and Commander Cube is awesome and that series is not going away. Personal attention role plays. Mainly because I don't play magic or any nerdy stuff. I mean in a cute way, not in a defensive way. But your voice is really relaxing. Oh, thank you. But um, yeah, no, I definitely want to do more just kind of general ASMR content. Just like I don't know, I feel like as an ASMR channel I should have like my standard repertoire of uh, like the classic, like ASMR, like classic role plays and things like that, so yeah. I love the map video you recently posted. Um, thank you. I am... Um, cool. Yeah, no, that's, that's, um, I want to do more of cartography, but I'm kind of winding the only amount of cartography I'm doing, but uh, I'll see what I can do, especially if I can might be able to do like a like a how-to video that's an actual like because I'm gonna have the in-depth explanation video of the Middle Earth map but an actual like how-to cartography. Oh one thing I should say is that if you're doing this in the future um I do have the other option here but um like some of them are like I get that you want to like there is extra co uh, categories and stuff and that's cool but um in the future I'm probably gonna be taking off the other category just because it's almost unreadable in the way that Google presents this information after a certain number of things where it's like I just can't see what they all are, especially when you like get in here. So um just in the future, those if you want to like specify what ones, it'll be lower below. Erotica. No, that's that's not happening. No, I mean gets people to do like erotic ASMR and stuff, but it's like it's one of those things where it's like, you know what? If it's in its own space, if it's not inherently wrong, but if it's like properly marked and stuff and make sure that you don't have minor stumbling upon it, like ASMR isn't naturally erotic, but I do understand that you could make it so, but that's just not my thing, so... No shame, but not my thing. A hiking vlog. That could be interesting, like, I wouldn't do it ASMR because um, it's hard because there's just a lot of ambient noise outside in this area. But that could be cool, just kind of like doing like, follow me along me with a hike and stuff, but I'd have to figure out like a good setup, because I really only have like my phone that could work with that for like recording that, which could be fine, but um, yeah, I'll think about it. I actually really like how eclectic this channel is. I'd welcome more experimentation. Well, experimentation is the theme for 2019. <laughs> Cozy, soothing readings. You have such a cab talent for it. After The Hobbit, would you perhaps consider something f similarly fairy tale or dreamlike? Narnia, Peter Pan, The Wizard of Oz. Your voice is beautiful and wonderful, and I thank you. I love those books, and like I said before, I might look into doing them on like a stream. So, yeah. Soft spoken reading. Yep. Thank you, I'll, I'll keep doing those, I like doing readings. Largely because they don't require me to do a lot of reading, like writing. <laughs> a video where you're in character. Definitely want to, um, definitely want to do some more cosplays, and even just like low effort cosplays to do videos with, so yeah. D&D &D stories. Uh, from games you've played or DM'd. Um, yeah, I could do like, um, because like, when Chirpy Infinity starts up, I definitely want to, I'm going to be doing the, um, kind of like vlog, like in-character vlogs as my, uh, my character. So, yeah. ASMR slash relaxation videos. Like I said, definitely want to do more dedicated ASMR stuff. Uh-huh. Maybe some MTG game, pl game analysis and deck runs. Um, this is kind of a two-part, like, comment so it's like that one it's harder because it's like I um my main format is obviously commander I could guess I could do like if I was like do like some popper gameplay and stuff like that but um yeah like I'll be completely honest like I like to brew but I'm not the best magic player like if I'm gonna be completely honest <laughs> um but yeah but um I definitely want to do more gameplay on my, on my twitch channel like for like commander and stuff like that. And as for D&D, &D, maybe some interactive videos with choices. 
kind of a stretch there, but just throwing the idea. Like, some sort of, like, choose your own adventurer type thing. That could be cool. It'd be a lot of work, but maybe. Hmm. I'll have to think about it and how I'd implement that. Maybe something about MTG philosophy. Thinning, ramp, removal, etc. Yeah, no, that's definitely something I can do. Like, I probably... I, I only really am ex good at expertise in Commander. And Commander Cube, obviously. But I could definitely do some more, like, general, like, higher level concept stuff for that. For, like, brewing and things like that. Rather than just, like, deck techs. So, yeah. Anything whispered? I mean... I can do whispered stuff, like, like, I plan on doing it more, but yeah. <laughs> Want to know about you? How was your week? Are you happy? Etc. Oh, thank you. But, um, yeah, no, um, like I said, I want to do kind of like more like general update videos and things like that. Lord of the Rings lore videos. That could be interesting. I would have to brush up on it, because it's been a while since I was like, I was in high school, I was like hardcore Tolkien nerd, but I've really kind of like slacked on that. But um I could see that being interesting. Yeah. I can really see like just doing that kind of video. It's like here's an introduction to the expanded lore, like beyond just the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, and like this is here's like a good resource to get into because I feel that could be a useful video. World building and philosophy of running a good D D game. I have my D&D &D and DMing basic series, and I want to do more versions of those. And I was also thinking about kind of just doing kind of like a reboot of my D&D &D basic series, because I started that one a long time ago, and I kind of want it to be a bit more polished and up-to-date with current recording techniques and stuff like that, because the early ones aren't great videos. <laughs> I honestly ended up in your channel for the Learning to Play MTG series, and would love to keep hearing that. I'm assuming you mean the Comprehensive Rules series? I do keep meaning to like, do some like how to play magic uh, videos, because I know there's a lot of people on my channel who don't play magic. Uh, so I'll definitely do that, but also Comprehensive Rules are not going away. D&D discussions are always fun, but traditional trigger videos vids get me to sleep faster, so do whatever. Awesome. I'll keep doing both of those. <laughs> I do love the D&D videos, so I'd like to see more in-depth stuff. Kind of like the Creating God ramble, but perhaps more asmr -y. Yeah, I have been slacking on the D&D front, I do admit that, so yeah. Also, I'll start going to lose suggestions a bit faster as, like, it gets... There's a lot more repeated and stuff. I really enjoyed the ramble videos, like your ranting about the issue of neutrality. A lot of people have said that they really like the issue of neutrality video, which is kind of funny, because like within like two weeks of me recording that video, I feel like I've completely kind of like changed my stance on the bulk of that video and like a lot of what I said, which is kind of funny. I mean, my final point still stands is that there's so many definitions and interpretations of the alignment chart that it's ultimately useless as a categorization system, and that just adds to that point, but I just kind of find it funny. Deck decks. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna aim for about like one deck deck a month. I think that's like probably a good rate for me brewing and stuff, so yeah, deck decks aren't going away. I didn't do one in January. ASMR one-shot D&D adventure with guest AMR ASMR artists, if you could line that up, lol. That'd be really cool to do. It'd be a lot of work, but I could... I'm looking into some things, so stay tuned. Um, I'd like to hear you talk about map-making basics, tips and tricks to making maps that don't look like doo-doo, or the kind of stuff, stuff you use to make maps. You know what? I'm definitely going to be doing a kind of like introduction to cartography and introduction of like this is how you make your own maps and things like that so yeah drop the asmr you can still make it on youtube without asmr this is an asmr channel like i had shifted kind of away from asmr and more like oh i'm going to focus on content but ultimately this is an asmr channel 
and I love ASMR, and I'm going to keep making ASMR, so, yeah. Traditional roleplays would be interesting, because you can entwine them with your expensive knowledge of RPG-driven lore. Uh, if you know, for example, if you were inclined to do a medical-oriented roleplay, you could assume the role of an herbal or sort of thaumaturgist. I actually really like that, kind of like doing kind of like my own flavor on like a lot of like traditional like sleep clinic and cranial nerve exam, but doing it um, more kind of like fantasy and things like that to kind of fit with my brand, and I really like that idea, so yeah. A color pie alignment system video, and more videos in your divine character once you develop them further. Color pie alignment chart, or alignment system video is coming up. I've been waiting on finishing up my write-up document for the complete rules changes needed for both 3rd, 4th, and 5th editions in Pathfinder. So that is coming, but I just want to finish the document and I just gotta sit down and do that. As for my mind control mage, I am so pumped for that character and I will be talking about it more. More roleplay, ASMR magic videos, I'd love to see some ASMR roleplays, you have a very gentle soothing voice, Oh, thank you. I find reading of MTG cards quite relaxing. Opening and reading packs or decks, set reviews are great too. I mean, those are still happening. Soft-spoken gameplay is specifically the classic Infinity games. If you don't know those, that's like Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale, good games. Uh, or some sort of tutorial guide for videos for those. The second edition that those games use is pretty alien to most people. I could do that because it's one of those things where it's like those have a really rough learning curve and like I could talk about general like here's what to look at when you're looking at party comp and things like that so yeah I could I could see doing that I would like to have uh, I would like to hear ideas about homebrew D and D five e to run smoother from a DM perspective also there's a world table tabletop role playing game called Burning Wheel which I feel would be interesting to explore. I've heard about Burning Wheel, I have not looked into it too much, and I'll go check it out. But, uh, yeah, no, I I think I definitely haven't done, I don't think I've really done a video on homebrewing in my DMing basic series, and that'd be a very good series. In all caps, comprehensive rules. Not going away, I need to make a new one, I'm due for a new one, but they're not going away, because those videos are cool. I feel that the content is good, in addition in content. I would only add one thing, and in that case I'm from Latin America. English and ASMR complicates me when listening, and the suggestion would be if you can add subtitles, but as I said before, I feel the videos are very good as they are. I would love to do subtitles, the thing is it is a lot of work to add subtitles, um, and one thing that's also open if any of you are amazing and like have a favorite video or something and want to add subtitles, it is open to having community subtitles. Um, just currently with like my schedule in real life, I just don't have time to also add subtitles to videos because that is just an extra step. Uh, I'd love to. I understand it's important for both foreign language people, hearing impaired people, and things like that, and accessibility is super important, but it is as like a one-person operation. It is currently outside my means, especially since my stuff is often more long form, but um, it is open to the public if anyone wants to help with that, but um, that said, if there's any videos specifically that people want to have subtitles done on, let me know, like message me on the Discord or something, and I will take the time and do the subtitles for them. It's just something that I can't reasonably do for every single video, if that makes sense. Okay. Any videos you want to see less of, or things that I do that may dislike any part of my videos. Okay, so this was kind of like, hey, crap on my stuff, because, you know what, like, this is actually, honestly, one of the most useful parts of my feedback. Next time also I'll be adding a note, it's like, if you have nothing to say, just don't put anything. <laughs> There's a lot of these that are like, nope, which is awesome, or like, thank you, but I'll be skipping them, because... Okay, tech on niche formats, like Commander Cube. You know, that's fair. I think I, I did have like two weeks where I was like talking about nothing but Commander Cube, and I will be pulling back from like that much Commander Cube, but 
I'll still be doing Commander Cube because Commander Cube is awesome and I like those videos, but um, yeah. I know you love MTG, but it's not really my main thing, really. Sorry. No reason to be sorry. That's cool. Um, uh, okay, next one is no, not every trigger works for me, but that's nature of ASMR. The only thing I dislike about your channel is that your featured video on your channel page is on autoplay. I just find it disrupting or jarring to have sudden noise every when everything is quiet and I'm searching for the right ASMR video to relax to sleep to. I will look into my settings and see if I can change it from autoplay on my end. I'm sorry that happens, but I will see what I can do because I did not realize that that's something that happened. And I could under totally understand that that is there. So, I'll check. Thanks for letting me know. I think it would be good if you could talk a little slower. Also, don't apologize for not posting enough. Post as wins when you want slash can. I know I do tend to talk a bit fast. I know I'm kind of talking a bit fast now. I'm, um, I'm trying to be better about it, and I'm getting you better about it. But, yeah. I just get excited about the topics I'm talking about, and then I start talking fast, and... Um, when I'm talking fast in videos, that is already me slowing down. If you talk to me in real life, I just fly off at 50 miles miles a minute, and it's it's rough. But yeah. Um, as for the not posting enough things, I'll apologize because I apologize for everything, but I've been doing better about actually keeping my content going. I can't relate to those Magic the Gathering videos. Totally understand. It's one of those things where it's like you're into it or you're not, and it's just that's kind of the nature of it. And yeah, I mean, I think it was a bit magic heavy, and it's gonna be less magic heavy. It'll still be magic, but yeah. Uh, D and D metagaming, like D videos about D and D. Again, I mean, it's not for everything, and it's not the sole for focus of the channel. And I hope there's enough other stuff that you can find and enjoy it. Okay, I'm gonna skip all the ones that are being like, eh, I'm not really into magic because I get it. I understand. That's cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nope, 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 nope. Magic. Yep. I don't care for intentional ASMR, tapping, etc. Well, I mean, it's not the focus of my channel. I'll probably be doing a little bit of it um, coming up, but uh, it won't be too heavily. No. Don't make the ASMR the focal point of your videos when you're reading. Uh, I assume they're meaning when you're talking about like my Hobbit readings, and you know I I totally get that. Like I think overly like ASMRing readings that where it's like the ASMR from readings is honestly best when the readings are just done naturally. Like um, for my Hobbit videos, like I don't like. When I'm doing like the Ford voice and things like that, where, where it's like my main focus is not ASMR for that. It's I want to just tell a good story and convey this story, and oftentimes that's like the best way to trigger ASMR from like reading circumstances. So, yeah. Commander deck techs aren't great. You know, not every, you know, like magic's not for everyone, not every format's for everyone, so that's cool. But yeah. Also, please don't hesitate to like tell me what you don't like. Like, it's really useful information for me and things like that. Then I have, if you have one, do you have a favorite? If you have one, do you have a favorite video of mine? This one was like, mostly just like kind of like there, because it's like I was, I don't know. I just kind of was curious, but like, because it's like I know I have like ASMR is so like my AS, like ASMR is I follow like I keep coming back to the same people over and over like the same videos of theirs. And I just kind of want to know like what's the videos that people go back to, or things like that. Okay, MTR. I don't know what MTR is. If anyone knows what MTR is, I went through all my videos. I was like, which one is MTR? I don't know what MTR is. Deck text all around are awesome. Cool. Four color contraptions EDH deck tech. I love that deck. It's so much fun. And I think I'm about rebuilding it because I took it apart from my cube. And that's one that I think I'm gonna put back together. MTG rules reading three. 
specific, but awesome. Uh, Guilds of Ravnica set review? Cool. The Problem of Neutrality? I'm surprised. I, I, it's a video which I wasn't actually super happy with, like, how I presented my arguments and stuff, and I've changed my mind on the arguments, but I'm glad you liked it. Your EU4 videos? I keep meaning to do more of those, but I just haven't been playing that much EU4. EU4 just hasn't been capturing me lately. And when I have, like, been playing, like, Grand Strategy, I've been playing CK2, and CK2 doesn't have, like, a timeline feature, so it's harder to do, like, campaign summaries with, like, CK2, so... Probably the Liliana video. I really like how that turned out. Helping sleeve the Commander Cube is close second, though. How to be DM? Cool. Any close whispering video is super soothing as you use a really relaxing voice. Aw, thank you. A Lord of the Rings reading you posted a while back. It's the video that got me to subscribe. It is assuming you mean The Hobbit. Comprehensive rules. I'm indecisive. Content discussing your knowledge of literature and lore. I do want to do more like classic English lit stuff because I'm an English nerd. Um, comprehensive rules. The Hobbit. Uh, card readings. The generic G or D and D campaign. I just get I just get so invested in generic RPG. I love it so much. Uh, personal attention, taking care of you. I do want to do more role plays like that. I really liked how that video has turned out. Mostly the ones where you analyze Commander Cube cards. Awesome. Thank you. Mostly because those are some of my favorite videos to do, so it's like, yay, people like these videos. Uh, any way in which you express your Celestia love, Celestia is Besnia. They're just great. They're the best and awesome and amazing. Guided meditation relaxation. Want to do more videos like that? Your original D&D roleplay. I cringe when I look at my early videos, but I'm glad you still enjoy them. Conversive rules. MTG guidebook. All. The character creation video. I assume you mean the original. Uh... Definitely the problem of neutrality. Like, multiple people loving the problem of neutrality. Like, awesome. Cool. Thanks for liking it. Dungeon Master's Basics, the EU4 Germany campaign overview. I did watch most of your mapping of Middle Earth for a bit, and I dug it. Oh, that's my friend Miranda, who just took this, um, this whole survey without actually knowing anything about my channel and doesn't actually watch ASMR. <laughs> the Shu Yun deck tech. Uh, the Hobbit readings, RuneScape, either designing the god or problem of neutrality. Wow, people really like a problem of neutrality. Uh, planning the death of your character roleplay or the Hobbit readings. The Swamp King was a good one. Bottom of the Barrel deck text will be coming soon. More of them, I should say. The Hobbit Chapter 11. Specific, but cool. The initial world building one. I actually don't know which one that is. The MTG set reviews for limited, the comforts of rules, the less make your character roleplay. I started watching you when I found your basic D&D rules video. Cool. Well, I just need to figure out like what people like of mine. It's also kind of weird to think I've like made nearly 200 videos for this channel. It's just like insane to think about. Okay, then I had a section on streaming and um because I'm looking at getting a more consistent streaming schedule. I'm probably going to start like pretty easy, like I was saying about one gaming stream a week, and it'll be starting in February, so uh, next week. Um, and I'll be posting that soon, and do one ASMR stream, and I'll see where it goes from there. So, yeah. Um, most people said like, RP they want to see RPGs, um, magic, but I'm... I'm Magic, I don't know. I'm not really captured by Arena right now. ASMR streams, those are happening. Art, and uh, general hangouts such talking. So, the ASMR and general such hangouts just talking. Like, that's kind of what I'm gonna think about. Like, kind of like doing, like, a Friday evening stream that's, like, ASMR and... Or maybe not Friday, but just, like, an evening stream where people can, like, filter in and filter out and just have, like, some nice soft-spoken conversation, some story readings, like take trigger requests and things like that, so, yeah. Um, what else people have said? RuneScape, Factorio, yep, not doing that. General discussions, RPGs, but not fantasy. 
I don't play that many RPGs about fantasy, but yeah, uh, that's just things to keep in mind, so, yeah. And what time of day? Like, this is just, it'll probably be starting about noon west, west coast time, A, because that's what people said was a good start time, and B, uh, that's also the earliest I'm gonna be awake enough to do streaming. And just any general comments on streaming, and most of them are just like, meh, nothing thing. And then just some general demographic information to round out, because I don't trust YouTube's analytics. Um, this is up male from the last one, it was about 80% male, and this one now it's about eight, nine, close to 90% male. Which I understand that I have a male leaning channel, because like, ASMR viewership is already male leaning. I'm already talking that I a lot of magic in D&D, which has historically been male-leaning, especially for, like, being franchise people who seek out videos and stuff. So I get it. But, um, ladies, any lesbians out there, I am still single, so if you're interested, hit, hit me up. Don't actually, it'd be weird. I say it every time, but actually do. Let me know. <laughs> uh, how did you discover my channel? Uh, this is just kind of like an interesting one where it's like, it's up to 75% browsing YouTube or YouTube suggestions where the first one it was like nearly two thirds was like, or like half was coming from Reddit and this has just been slowly coming up. Um, and just some other stuff. Uh, what does IRL mean in the above option? I was streaming on YouTube for reading of Sappho and the Ancient Greek, stumbled upon your videos and search results. IRL means in real life because of the thing, Lily, I know you in real life, and what should I be about the channel? I believe that's Miranda. What other ASMR artists do you like to listen to? This is a list. It's awesome. Cool. Thank you. I'll check a lot of these out. I've been mostly just kind of looking to diversify my stuff. Best guild. Coming up in first, we have Demir, which is, I mean, eh, they're fine. Sneaky, sneaky, stabby, stabby. But, uh, in a beautiful second place, I'm proud of you. We got Selesnia, the best guild. Go Selesnia. Selesnia's cool. Selesnia's bestnia. I'm gonna go hug a tree. <laughs> and then last place we have Orzov, which is, which is cool, because boo capitalism. And then finally, we just have closing soft comments, and we also had Q and A videos, but I already did the Q and A video. So, nope, you're awesome, Lily. You're awesome. Love your voice. Oh, thank you. Thank you for providing awesome content. Nope, keep just being you and making great content. This is probably weird, but I appreciate that you look like a normal person in your videos. So many content creators have perfect hair and makeup, like TZ for centuries, and it can be a little alienating. I like to say I'd like to take credit and be like. Yes, I try to strive for this natural look, but the truth is, is that I am exceptionally lazy, and that's the main reason. And I really am not good at makeup or hair or anything, although I am getting a haircut soon. I'm um, actually considering um, getting uh, bangs, and I'm not sure how it'll look, but yeah. Not gruel, then die. I mean, but, but Celestia and Unity and harmony and stuff like that. I hope you feel well soon. I think I wasn't feeling good when I made that video, but uh, I, I got better and I got worse. I've been feeling a bit under the weather the last few days, but I'll feel better then. Yeah. Don't ever lose faith in yourself. It's a lost ask, I'm sure, but you provide relaxation for a lot of weary souls out there. It's such a commendable uh, job, and it's okay to take care of yourself when you need to. Oh, thank you. That really means a lot to me. Maybe start an MTG lore series, reading from your favorite storylines or stories from a specific book. Also, a video on how you organize your card collections would be cool. Okay, the organization stuff I could actually do, because, like, I actually show off my collection and stuff, especially since I would be, like, reorganizing some of it. Um, as for MTG lore series, I started doing an MTG lore series and then just did the first episode and never did a second episode. So maybe when it comes to actually like readings, um, I feel kind of weird because I have friends who do have an awesome channel for readings. If you look up Voice of All, they do an amazing job and I'm friends with 
a few of the people who work on it, and they're awesome, and I don't want to steal their thunder, so go check them out if you want to have some awesome readings. They have, like, they have being in a bunch of, like, people to do voice acting for all the characters. They have, like, full, like, sound editing and, like, sound effects and music and stuff, and it's very well done. I hope you'll have one better year than this one for 2019. I mean, 2018 set a very low bar, but, uh, yeah. I missed the recommendations earlier, but would you consider reading Warhammer 40k lore? I know nothing about Warhammer 40k or otherwise, so probably not, but yeah. Just do what makes you happy. Aww. I subscribe to you because you are a female gamer who plays all the same games I do, and I really want to support that. You're doing a good job. Keep it up. Aww, thank you. Support female gamers and content creators, because it's hard, because there's a lot of creepy guys, and like most of you are awesome, but there's a lot of creepy guys who make it rough at times. So thank you for all who support me and stuff. You come across as vulnerable, almost ethereal, as though a voice uttered too loudly could cause you to fade away. My cover as a ghost has been compromised. You're not supposed to know I'm a ghost. I may be a strange young man, according to some, in a foreign country with no affiliation and facility, but I've had suffered fate with debility and depression anxiety since my early teens, which the passing of years has not assuaged. I am of greater fortitude these days and to manage my afflictions, but I am not, li not so likely to be destroyed by emotional lows, thankfully. This has given me a sense of empathy for others and also suffer from depression and anxiety. Your problems are familiar to me and many others. Sharing negative experiences, though not the most hearty of exchanges, can be therapeutic. Consider the wider world beyond your dark horizon, Lily, whenever you get sad. There are other pla planes and souls that toil thereon. Perseverance. Thank you. That's really sweet. And, like, I appreciate, like, the, 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 the very poetic and language. On another matter, maybe do some videos of different scenery. A view of the outside or by window, some ambience, see more of you. Well, now I have a nice background, which I've added recently. Uh, so actually that's, if anything, it's seeing less of it. Uh, thing is for scenery is a, I now I'm recording on a desktop, which keeps, kind of keeps me anchored to the space. And I also do usually record in the middle of the night and it's very black out there because it's the middle of the night. So um, I'll see what I can do for like, other locations, but for the most part, I'm stuck here. I could like green screen this and like green screen in many different locations. <laughs> oh. Keep up the good work, always seek greater value, and black is the best color and commander. That's wrong, green is the best color and commander. I want to ramp into nothing. Glad you are feeling better, and if you haven't already, definitely involve a physician regarding any recurring depression. From personal experience, it can be completely and utterly life-changing, well worth the effort. And it was a difficult case of mine, too. Serotonin was not the issue, and another was dopamine. But that's enough neuroscience for now. Pour a cup of tea, cozy up, and have a wonderful evening. A, yeah, I am seeing help for depression and stuff like that, so thank you. Also, if you have depression, just seek help. It's really helpful. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I got my tea. Life happens. Keep doing whatever you value. You are appreciated. Oh, thank you. Keep doing whatever you're doing. I wonder how the history would have played out if Horace, if Horace heresy had never occurred. I'm not that great with my Egyptology. I know of the Horus, that the Horace Hor heresy exists. I do not know of its effects on history. Your channel is one of my favorites and I'm happy you're still making videos, even when you maybe should still be resting a little longer after being sick. Thanks a lot. Oh, I just want to, like, get back out there running whenever I'm, like, sick. I'm just like, I'm done being sick. I'm back through the worst of it. I'm gonna make a video, because videos do just... Making a video does make me happy and makes me feel better. Loving your videos? None. Keep up the good work. Been a fan of your videos since the first one. Keep on making them, and I'll keep watching them. Oh, thank you. Best wishes to you. You are great. Do not ever change. 
forgot to mention Whispered ASMR videos are the best ones for me. Cool. I'll definitely do more Whispered stuff. Keep up the good work. I dig the channel and generally dig the content I know anything about. Keep up the good work. Always looking forward to new videos and streams. Your videos are nice. This is definitely not Miranda filling this out. Thanks, Miranda. You rock. Keep it up, friendo. I hope you feel better soon, but I definitely know the feeling and understand how hard it can be. Oh yeah, I was like super depressed when I put out this. <laughs> Um, so don't feel bad if it impacts your video schedule. Focus on you. That said, I'm actually kind of like super depressed right now, but I'm like in this like weird depression where it's like, I know I'm depressed. I need to keep myself so busy so I don't think about how depressed I am. So that's why I do things like make an entire dress in a day and stuff like that. So that's cool. <laughs> no. I hope you feel better soon, but I definitely know the feeling and understand how hard it can be, so don't feel bad if it impacts your video schedule. Focus on you. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely, I've been doing good this month, and uh, hopefully we'll keep it up and keeping ahead on schedule and things like that and keep up that content, but uh, yeah, thank you. I like the fact that you're still making content. A lot of people who make a, f make a few videos and then quit such disappear, but you're still going, and I respect that. Yeah, no, honestly, it's, it's, it's kind of mind-boggling how many videos I've put out and like how long it's already been. It feels just yesterday I was making that first uh D, &D roleplay video and yeah, no, it's uh it's really amazing and I'm I love doing this and making this channel and making all this content for all of you. I hope things are brighter for you this year, Lily. Sending you a big warm internet hug. No, oh, thank you. Your content is great as is, unique, has its own niche, and your voice works well with ASMR. Keep up doing what you're doing, it's amazing. No, oh, thank you. And great final comment of any other thoughts and comments? Of course, there's a person who answers, yes. You do you. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's it for this survey. But uh, like I said, if you want to put in your two thoughts, like, I'll have a link in the description below, and, uh, but yeah, no, thanks for everyone who replied to me, and it just really does help me, like, figure out, like, where I want to move this channel going forward. I mean, it's not the be-all, end-all of, like, oh, this is the exact percentages of what videos I put out now, but it helps inform my decisions, and getting feedback is really nice, and you always have such kind words for me, and I honestly don't deserve the amazing community that's kind of grown around this channel, so... Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. And I love all of you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I uh, hope you all have a wonderful night. And you all have wonderful dreams as always. And may our story smile upon you.